Now, you being involved in the project, you're obviously confident that the system is secure and the system has been audited by KPMG. But um, as a voter, how can I be sure that the audited system is actually the one being used in the election? And how can I be sure that the, that the system is not switched against another system when it actually comes to the election? Yes, uh, first of all, you have to trust me, of course. But, <laughs> but, but of course, uh, as I said, uh, there was an opportunity for, uh, for political parties to send representatives. Uh, everything which is political is videotaped. Uh, people go in, you know, in, in peers and so on and so on. It's, it's about no, normal security measures. Of course, everyone cannot be 100% sure, but uh, well, the, the voters, they can trust either their favorite party representatives overseeing the process or, or uh, trust auditors or uh, bring some questions up and, and have a complaints solved afterwards, watching videotapes, whatever they want to. You never can, uh, you know, if you, you some, for some reason you, you believe for internet bank, <laughs> I can show the uh, thousand ways wh why it's impossible in paper, but in practice people use that and then uh, moving huge amounts of money. The same goes for voting, you have to trust the system. If you don't trust the system, you don't trust the election system. Uh, elect elect electoral system at all, for example, that's part of electoral system and uh, re relies on the trust of uh, election officials. Yes. Hello. Um, are the citizens able to generate and regenerate their own public-private key pair or are they only using the pair that was issued by the state on their ID card originally? Well, there, there are a couple of keywords involved. First of all, of course, for personal authentication, people use their ID card. But, uh, but uh, the system has their own key, key pair, private and public key, in the picture I show here. So the public key is embedded in the client part software, and the private key is used uh, for counting the votes, opening the votes. And the, uh, the control over private keys is split uh, over nine people, so to say. It's, it's an out of M scheme, but the use of the private key is very, very controlled. And actually, it, it took, uh, happened uh, the last time uh, with the cameras and about 80 foreign observers <laughs> with a big ceremony. Um, so, but, this is how it works, yeah. But they are reliant on trusting the state not to keep copies of their private key. Yes, well, that's, that's the subject of the, of the procedures and, uh, and auditing again. We had a special occasion for destroying the private key, and it's also videotaped. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, other than KPMG, what other uh, companies might we recognise who are involved in both the ID card and the voting projects? Well, the KPMG didn't do much. Um, they they <laughs> just uh, <laughs> looked it over, by the uh, read the the papers, and and, and saw that there. This, what's happening corresponds to what's written. That's all they do. But the system itself was developed uh, by a local company who has been uh, doing uh, development in, in, in IT security for a decade. My previous life was part of this company as well. And my other face, I have two hats or faces. My other face uh, actually works for a company who is um, taking care of the, the the ID card applications and issuing uh, certificates for ID card, which is certification center. So this company was somewhat involved also because, yeah, if people actually cannot use the ID card and some problems have, uh, then they call us. So we had to deal with that, of course. I just want to make um, one quick comment. You said that people trust this technology for their internet banking, so they should trust it for their e-voting. 
I don't know the laws in Estonia, but in the United States, if I lose money through internet banking, the bank will reimburse me and I, I have no risk. But with e-voting, I, I do have a risk. So. Well, um, we use the, 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 um, this notion of internet banking for comparing the two systems. So the goal was always that the internet voting system shall be more secure than a, a banking system. So, so um, if, if some requirements or security analysis were made, then, then also uh, always why we, we step on that, saying that, okay, let's compare, okay, using ID card for authentication is more secure than going uh, uh, to internet bank with a pin codes and so on and so forth. And of course, the public uh, oversight over the, the central system, which is not existent in a, in a banking system. So. <laughs> I see one problem, I don't know. Uh, you never can, can ensure that the voting, uh, voting will be secret. Because you said somebody can stand behind you and tell you what you, uh, you should, should vote. And then you, you can do it several times to ensure that the person can. But if buddy, somebody takes your ID card till uh, the voting is over and knows your PIN, nobody, you, you never can, can really ensure that it's, it's really secret, this voting. Yeah, there are two parts. First of all, the definition of, of secrecy. If you want to be it secret, it, it will be secret. Okay. If you if you lose your ID card, it's it's your uh, obligation by law to inform that immediately. Okay. So um, uh, this is uh, actually something which is uh, which is your obligation to 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 keep secret. So, but you can lose ID card. But uh, to lose pins as well, 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 this takes some tricks. Um. You're absolutely sure in uh, in, a ball in, uh, in the ballot uh, where, where you, you cast your vote, you're alone. But you never can uh, be sure that this person is at home or at work alone. There is no influence from. Uh, some, somebody else. But the, the, the thing here is to give the possibility to have a privacy to people. If people don't want the privacy, you want to vote with your mother, for example, or your, I don't know. Some people want to vote with the family, actually. They want to. But they have absolute possibility to have a privacy because of revoting and manual revoting possibility. That you go to the polling station and uh, Vote, vote in paper as, as usual and uh, your privacy is fine and your e-votes are gone. So it's a matter of if you want to have privacy. Okay, um, so let's see if I find the right words in English. Regardless of all the critical remarks uh, made before, I still find it very cool that you set up a system for the whole world to fiddle with and so I guess all the faults will be found sooner or later and I applaud you for like having a whole state as a test case. Thank you, uh, you're welcome.